Jetsons of Back to the Future. You may have thought we were kidding about this, but yes, Congress is talking about flying cars. Or more specifically, urban air mobility. NBC10 DC correspondent Bree Jackson looks at how scientists and researchers would handle the potential of traffic jams in the sky. Oh, joy. <laughs> Traffic headaches could soon be a thing of the past as lawmakers examine the future of transportation. Riding a flying car and coming out of that traffic and going and leaping ahead of everybody. Well, it might be on the way. The concept of flying cars is taking off with scientists, researchers, even companies like Uber, which hopes to elevate their ride-sharing program in the next five years. We are creating Uber Air because we believe aerial ride-sharing has the potential to radically improve urban mobility. Every year, millions of hours are wasted in traffic on roads worldwide. Supporters say flying cars can reduce traffic, deliver products, and help emergency vehicles arrive faster. But researchers face challenges such as air traffic management and reducing noise. Separately, there are concerns that continues to be concerned about safety of helicopters and other rotorcraft and current understanding of the privacy and safety concerns of the general public. Engineers are working with federal agencies and lawmakers to determine what regulations are needed to make flying vehicles safe. We don't need a patchwork of different uh, rules and regulations for different areas. We need a uniform uh, set that everybody can identify with. What once seemed like fiction may soon be reality for commercial users like Uber. But creators say personal cars that you and I can fly are a ways down the road. Can't you see me flying in a Maserati down the uh, through the skies? Mm -hmm. And the, the officer friendly right behind, right <laughs> alongside you. you and me both. We've got lead feet, folks, is what we're trying to say. <laughs> Jared's back with your very down-to-earth seven-day.